e ka bo si ikoni aji ara mali for tv e subscribe si ikoni yi e on notification button kele lanfani ati gbadun wa si waju si a jo se po wa la file se ase lori e wo ti en ti o je igba keje olopa lo lede nigeria yen alabi abi odun to se se ipinle ogun na lo ti lo ba en ti o je gomina ipinle ogun mo bada pa bi odun lalejo oropo oninu we kobo he fi dile nkan tabi ke fi nkan lede e je gbadun oro ile ti mo koko ko se oro ti wa bo ni ipinle ogun to di pa lo so do gomina ni so lati se de ko Let me correct one impression. Because this is my neck, nothing has not been so common. It was uh, any worry. Yes, we have a pocket of it, but not as the way people are magnifying it. Um, this is one of the issues I addressed this afternoon. I even addressed the same issue yesterday in Lagos when I started my little talk of Southwest. We realized that, yes, of recent. We have a kind of sharp increase in the uh, issue of policy and the kidnapping in Lagos and in the United States. Um, we are not mindful of the fact that a lot of uh, gradual effective strategy has been put in place to contend with it. But you see, like uh, we all know, there is no society that's crime free. Occasionally, as we all know, that crime is, is a galloping phenomenon. Today, it can be brought down to almost zero level. Tomorrow, there's that tendency for it to come up again. It's not there for us to go to the drawing board and strategize and a place strategic policy plan and proactively to deal with it. I mean, excessive. There is no really about it. We have taken judicial notice of those areas where this is happening and we have told our officers and men to work their game and we strategize so that it doesn't recur again. But like I said earlier on, it's not. The way people are talking about it, Southwest is one of the most peaceful geographical zone in the entire country. You will agree with me that the fact that it's only occasionally that we experience it. We have areas where it's the other of the day, but we will not rely on our hours. We will not allow it to reoccur again. So we have a place, strategic policy plan to deal with it. Sir, now that you're in your state, what assurance are you giving the resident and the the safety of life and property? This is one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria. Going by the sea trip, this is the report I always get from the CP and the IGZO2, who is the Um, They have been doing well. It's because of them that you know, they have been able to ensure safety and security of all the villages in the state. But that doesn't mean that we don't have locations where we have a you know, purpose of crime here and there. But, like I said, the city the of police and the citizens and men are doing their best, almost best, but they have a chance to do more because we have areas of improvement. So I'm assuring the villages of the state that there's nothing to worry about. They said that they're relatively peaceful and will continue to sustain the peaceful and I mean and conducive environment that they to enable them to go about their local businesses without any fear of oppression. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
our seats. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the Chief Security Officer of the Ethiopian State, Prince Abraham, CUA, the Head of Service, Mr. Kennedy on our side. Deputy Chief of Staff, His Excellency, Dr. Guato in Taiwan, Honorable Commissioners of Transportation and Special Duties, Engineer Ben Nadaro and Honorable Fonia Bartle, a special advisor to His Excellency on Security Matters, AIG Lushala Subar, retired, special advisors at present, especially special advisor from the office, Mr. Chiyu Kamisha and the special advisor to His Excellency on the media, Mr. Zimbabwe. Your Excellency, we have here today a very, very strong, formidable commitment team of the Nigerian Police Force. And permit me to hand over the microphone to the PPRO of the State Command, SPO Morola, and the Justice, to the recognition. Good afternoon, Your Excellency, sir. Grace Tampo Abirajan, NFR CUA. Thank you very much for this special occasion. Before you, sir, we have Deputy Inspector General of Police, EIG Sylvester Alavi Abirajan. He is the DIG in charge of the first criminal investigation department in Abuja and also the EPOS as the DIG in charge of the Southwestern University Committee. Next to him is AIG, the Natui University. He is the AIG overseeing the um, Zone 2 in Lagos. We also have CP Ode Ojajini, who is today representing CP Abiodo Onto. We also have CP Bonali Muritala, he's a DCP in charge of operations here in the state. We also have ACP Haruno Adamo, he is the Metro Commander here in Abiodo. Next to him is ACP Afalao Buntui. He is a commander 61, who posts 16 of the time. I have my own self, the PPRO. Thank you very much, sir. With your kind permission, Your Excellency, we have a very robust citation of the DIG. Respectfully, sir, I would like to read it out. Citation of DIG Abiodu Sylvester Alabi, PSC, MDC, MNIM, Deputy Inspector General of Police, Post Criminal Investigation Department. He was born on the 21st of December 1964 in Ekiti, in Ekiti State. I would like to also mention, specifically in Ilawe. He had his primary and secondary school also in Nigeria. He attended the University of Lagos where he studied sociology and graduated with second class honor of our division. In the press for more knowledge, he enrolled into the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, Leife, in 1988, where he bagged Master of Science degree in sociology in 1989. DIG Abiodun Sylvester Alavi holds a BSc in Sociology from the University of Lagos, MSc in Sociology from Obafemi Oloa University, Mayfair, in 1989. On the 12th of March 1990, he offered himself to serve his father's land and he was appointed into the Nigerian Police Force, Lieutenant Assistant Lieutenant of Police for 16. 1990, and he trained at the prestigious police academy annex in Kaduna. After 18 months of rigorous training and successful completion of his training, he was posted to Abia State Police Command, South 
Eastern Nigeria and commenced his professional career. He has worked in several places, such as in Six Command. He has worked in Cross River between 2001 and 2009. He was also a TOIC program commander. He was also OCD diplomatic protection score in the world for period. Your Excellency, in order not to waste so much of your time, I want to introduce to you a fine officer, a gentleman, a man who has walked and traversed the state of Nigeria. I present to you again a man who has 34 years experience in his policing career, D.I.G. and a P.S.C. Thank you very much, sir. Dear Chairman of State, a special care for the Dean of State. One more time, please come and wait for the conference. Your Excellency, Prince Asimadoko, as well as the Executive Council of the United States, the Head of Service, Mr. Mackenzie, and also here. All members of the State Executive Council. The Senior Special Advisor to the Government of the State, Mr. Alton, and our guard, one of our role models. Very peaceful 
not your environment. You have to understand it. For the place, you want to see a placement in good place for us to experience any developmental programs that we try in the United States. Presidency, I don't want to take much of your time. Um, it's just for me to pay a consistency to you and to let you know that we appreciate all your efforts. We appreciate all your efforts for the police in Lagos and the United States. And to let you know that our men are told to all their men, to all their efforts, and ensure that we serve the communities we are serving to our level best. And we cannot do that without actually soliciting for your support once again. So, that was, I want to say I appreciate you for this small reception. And whenever the opportunity arises again, I will not hesitate to come back. God bless you. Thank you very much, DIG and uh, Mr. Vestal, the other DIG in charge of the first criminal investigation department. South Coast Jubilee Reserve, and then Peace Force. In the state, we have a man who believes that security was given for his business. And far more than this, he wants everyone to see, knowing that they are well secured at any point, especially at night. And indeed, he has entrusted things to the hands of the special team of the Security Trust Force, complementing. The service has been provided by the Agile Police. Just some few weeks back, they added another impetus with the provision of more security vehicles to enhance control of all the trends of the services in our state. Therefore, in point, the Excellency, Governor of the Native State, Prince, appeared on COA in all his response to Red State's itself. The head of service. Uh, my deputy chief of staff, my commissioners that are here present, special advisor on security, Tari and Jisubaya, all of the members of our team. Please join me in warmly welcoming the DIG who is responsible for the Southwest Zone DIG. Alabi Sylvester Abiyoji, DIG in charge of Force CID and Southwest Geopolitical Zone, with his entourage supported by AIG Olatwe Josimi, AIG in charge of Zone 2, and of course, Odis Bode, Ojajuni, ATPD, Olande Moritala, and the Mopo 16 commander, Tony, and Harold, um, uh, our commander, Metro, and of course, the Force PPRO. DIG, it is indeed a pleasure for me to uh, TV this afternoon. Let uh, me first congratulate you on this uh, elevation. And let me congratulate you on such a very brilliant. Uh, a successful career in the, the police force. Your antecedent and uh, experience uh, background clearly precedes you and has arguably prepared you for, for, for this for this uh, for this job. We it is very commendable that uh, you have deemed it important to come on this uh, familiarization visit across the southwest which you began in Lagos yesterday. Like you said, Ogo uh, State is the contiguous state, the only contiguous state to Lagos State. And if you are moving from Lagos to the entire southwest, it is only logical that the next stop for you should be the state. So we commend this initiative so you can look, you can feel, you can hear, from your men and from all other stakeholders as to how um, they are faring, what is the feedback, uh, particularly with respect to the relationship between the Nigerian police, the citizens that they are protecting, the effectiveness of their operations, and 
if there are other takeaways that will allow you to be more um, effective in the discharge of your duties. State, I first want to appreciate uh, the Commissioner of Police and the entirety uh, for doing a good job in the state. Um, clearly, our uh, CP uh, has been here in the state for many years, so he someone who is very familiar with the terrain. So, on assumption of office, he wasted no time in being on top of his responsibilities. We have continued to enjoy their cooperation. We have continued to provide them with the needed support. They also, in turn, have an excellent cooperation and collaboration with all the other law enforcement architecture in the state, uh, be it uh, the military, be it the uh, State Department of Security Services, be it Awuna Muteko, uh, and so on and so forth. And I believe that this is responsible for the peace and security that we enjoy. Because when there's excellent collaboration, cooperation between all the methods in architecture, where there's understanding and support and cooperation with government, you will see that translate into a very peaceful atmosphere and a conducive environment for investors to come and invest and for investment to thrive in the state. Uh, that is why we proudly put our chest and say that we are the investment and the investors' decision of choice in Nigeria. Today we remain the industrial capital of Nigeria, we remain uh, the fastest growing economy in Nigeria, and I want to say that the uh, efforts and the work uh, of the Nigerian police force uh, it has is a large contributor to that peace and in, that we enjoy and the investment climate that has provided to our investors. So again, I want to thank uh, the IG uh, uh, for his support. I want to thank you and all your men for the work that they continue to do in the state. Not only do they collaborate with all of that law enforcement architecture, there's also a cooperation between the Ugo State Command, the Legal State Command, and the Ugo State Command, because those are uh, the three contiguous states that uh, we have in this corridor. Of course, we also border Osho and Ondo states. We have cooperation and study with them. But for us, Lagos, Ogo, and, uh, and, and uh, Olio have to work together because you find out that areas of overlap, the border areas that we have, people now have the tendency of wanting to you know, uh, jump from one border area to, to the other. Particularly the experience we've had on the Lagos and Banyo Expressway. But for the joint understanding that we have with Lagos and Oyo, that is what has brought down uh, the rate of kidnap and crime and criminal criminality uh, in that corridor. So again, I want to, I want to uh, thank um, the entire police force. Uh, we, as a responsible government that understands that there's a nexus between um, security and, uh, 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 and, and development and economic development, we will continue to do that which we consider necessary and important in support of all our law enforcement uh, agencies, particularly the Nigerian police. Uh, if and when there are any areas that you wish to bring to attention, please do not hesitate to do so. Uh, and uh, whatever it is that we also need to do to also support your office, have you been CP Lagos, with the DCP in uh, the CP in Bauchi, the DCP in the PT, you know the Southwest like the back of your hand. I do not have a doubt that um, you will do well in this capacity. But again, I must make sure that if there's anything that uh, we need to do to support your office to be successful, we can take that for granted. Again, on behalf of the entire uh, government and people of the state, we congratulate you, we wish you well, um, and we will continue to do all that uh, is needful to support uh, uh, the men and women of 
the Nigerian produce. Thank you very much for coming and um, we wish you well as you journey through the rest of the Southwest. And um, if there's anything that you have observed in the course of your uh, consultations with all stakeholders, I know you've seen the cabinets, they are the users of the grassroots. And you think you bring to my attention, please don't hesitate to do so. Uh, DIG, congratulations, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, sir. We just go for the photo session.